Morning folks, just a uh, bit of a rundown on some of the things that happened in the crash zone. We've uh, obviously been working hard on the, the 2.0, so I just want to talk about the, the changes and how they affect you. Uh, there's been questions on our Facebook page, so I'll try and answer as many of them. If you don't get an answer, just give me a yell. But step one, or well, first thing is, there's been some changes behind the scenes, and we've had people with this blog turning up when they go to log on, and then you can't log in. So uh, if it comes up with a blog to start with, just backspace that so that so you can then get into just in normal crash zone and, and away you go. Uh, control F5 is the way to clear all that. So then when we go to log in, we just enter our username and password. And when we log in like that, and log in. You'll see, sorry about that, we get an, an option, crash zone one, crash zone two. So just remember that if you log in, if you now choose crash zone one, all that data will be in crash zone two. Likewise, if you want to use crash zone two, it'll still be there in crash zone one if you want to flick back for whatever reason. And I find myself going between the, between the pair just depending on what I'm after, but just be assured that if you commit to Crash Zone 2, Crash Zone 1 is still there. And it's still working and it's still up to date. So we'll just, for the purposes, we're going to log into Crash Zone 2. Um, we'll get rid of that. We don't need that. So we're into the system. So just the general layout of it. Up the top here, we add a new quote. Uh, you can go backwards and forwards. You can still do this whole picture thing uh, and pick up which quote's which. Or you can go back to... Uh, the, the text there, so nothing's really changed. Over here, very, very similar to where it was, you know, we've got quotes and jobs and invoice, so nothing's really changed there. One of the cool things uh, is this office notes. So we've got office tests there, so I just want to show you that one first. So when we go in onto a job, office notes, comments. So we used to have the comment box down the bottom. It's, they're now up the top, and there's three of them. The comments, that one just stays there if the boys or somebody wants to make a note. Workshop one is largely, at the moment, it's largely dormant. It'll be getting used when we uh, refine the time app so the boys can actually make notes back to the office. But this office notes might just, you can just simply click in there and go, oh, I don't know, need coffee. All right, and that's it. Now, so up here, this little red save. It's already saved, right? The minute you click on another field, it automatically saved, or you can override it if you're a bit OCD. When we go back now, and we'll see that that note is on the front screen. So uh, for any of the office ladies or office men that uh, want to make notes that are, jump out at them about, oh, a reminder, do a sup, ring customer back, whatever, put it in the office notes and it's on the front screen for you to see. So that, that'll be a big help. Um, and then we go back into all of the quote. We've got the, the job itself, that same as before. Everything's pretty much on the page the way it used to. Probably for me, the big one was that over on this side, we've got sort of four rows. We've got left, and then this row, then the pictures. And then we've got this one. So this information here used to be at the bottom of the quote. Now it's off to the right-hand side. So we can add notes, so we can simply click in here and, and, and type something up and, and create and there's that note so you can you can make your notes over there but so back at the, the general layout which seems to be uh, just a wee bit confusing when you've been using the, the original crash zone for 10 years or whatever um, so we've got the, the owner and the usual details if you want to uh, um, when we're when we're in here, we can also click on, on this one, and uh, that, this will bring up the people that we've already saved. So we can automatically just do a, a data dump for the owner in there if you're after somebody from previous. Uh, with the vehicle, pretty much yeah, same, same. There's nothing really changed there. Uh, one of the things that's noteworthy, what I love about the new system, with the, if I put the rego in to rego look up here, and just put in the, the rego number, it's just been paid for, Quinn. and Queensland, and then just hit submit, 
it's going to bring up that vehicle, everything about it, and then I can just click use information, bang. All filled, VIN number's right, everything about the vehicle's there. So uh, if that's not the best feature out there, I don't know what is. Um, down the bottom, got the insurance. Likewise with the insurers, you can add an insurer and you can also recall an insurer. So, uh, and again, with the rates, etc., are all, all part of that system. So, um, good. But it, it, it's the same layout as we had. It's just got a bit more refinement, a bit more additional work. Then up this top box here that's always been there, in and out date estimator. Um, and then we've got the status where we can move the job into job. But instead of just clicking on job, we can now put it into straight into dismantle, repair, paint. They're all going to be part of the, the ones in the job file, but it's just a little bit more of a breakdown, which we'll get to. So we'll just put this one in a dismantle uh, for, for what we're doing. Uh, our rates, again, we can change them and override them like we used to be able to. So there's no big deal. You can go into settings and set them up the way you want them. And play. Just continuing on um, with the integration, the same as what we've always had. Just a few extras, a uh, couple of noteworthies, obviously Rego Lookup, um, compasses there if, you, if you're inclined to use them and you just want a hot key to go straight in. Um, yeah, not much stuff I can really tell you more than that. The invoice and the excess invoice is the same methodology. Uh, th this tracking system is still in its infancy, but it's still helpful. It'll add information about the job for you. So it's there. Um, a new feature, but largely for, for most, I'd say, yeah, just ignore the fact that it's even there. Um, I, when we get to the photos, we can show the large photos that are there. We click on the photo, and then we can we can um, edit it. So we might want to put a, an arrow to that, that hole. And, we, and then there's all these little symbols, so you just have a play around with them until you find the one you like. And the text button is the T. So I can simply type in here, um, broken, and save or apply. Once it's done that, I then can click on, uh, click on and, oh, enter, isn't it? Enter, bang, there it goes, enter. And you'll see that the picture's got the, the save text. So uh, if that one there is, a, is not quite clear, I'll open it up. And just type in here, and I might just reverse what that says, which I think is JF1. Uh, yeah, you, you get the picture here, yeah, you just type it the right way and save and enter, and bang, that's there. So that's the way that we can uh, adjust the pictures to suit, um, do, do any more, um, you know, anything else that needs really doing on. So that's that bit. Pictures, right, we'll go into the quote now. And look, honestly, the quote's the same. There's R&R, you know, &R, repair, paint, parts, sublets, other. Parts check and a hotkey, so uh, that's, which is a help. So down the side, it's the same. Probably one of the things that's, um, that's a bit different is if I want to move that one up, I used to drag and drop from here. Now, I simply grab hold of the five and drag it up. Bubble bar end will go up and the bowl will go down. So it, you, you can change it, but over here, you can still change it for two hours. You can still change your rate to 35. You can still change the total value to 90. So you can still do all those things. Um, so if you, uh, there's nothing really to see there. One of the other good features, I think, is over here, you can actually see the value of your quote as you're writing it. But that's all much so much this anyway. Between the pair, we're, we're talking about the difference between the old and the new. Um, so we can go in into here. There's your quote. If you want to change something on the quote uh, before you send it, so uh, for example, we can edit every line item now. So we just click in edit, and and in there, I might want to change the the, the quote from to whoops to Bob at QBE. I can just simply go in there and, and edit it from here. So I can do that. Um, if it's here, I can go from free smash to 
very E-X-P-E-N-S-I-V-E, very expensive smash if I want. You say, we, we can chop and change anything we want on the quote before it goes out. So just for what that's worth, you can change it so there's dollar value only. And just say, just change this to dollars. Vehicles there, you can, so you can hide the hours, etc. Uh, quoted, edit, default, which just goes back to standard. You can print from there if you choose. Uh, the old control P still works though. So once you've got that, then it's from, and where we're sending it to, we can go to the owner and it'll have, um, uh, we can send it to Winston, we can go to an insurance company, and it might be to this mob, we can click to, and it's just adding who we want it to go to. We can send it to a supplier. And once, once everybody's got that on their screen, then you can just hit send and off, it'll go to everybody. So again, a bit of help on that one. Uh, view, so back on the view section, we've still got the authorities there, but again, you can chop and change and, and edit. Uh, clearance is there, the header and details is there. If if you ever wanted to, uh, you can put in your own hours and print that out for, for the workshop if you need to, if you think that it's under or over. Um, I'll leave that one with you, but at least the function is there for those that do choose. The quote itself self-explanatory. You can go the old way with the parts and just have the, or oh, better put a few parts in there, just bear with me. We'll quote and we'll just go parts and we want these four parts. So we go back to view, we can go into parts and there's the parts. So you can, if you want, send that across to a supplier, but you know, I'd imagine that most of you would be using parts check, which just eliminates the need for the double handling. No tax invoice, of course, of this one at the moment. So there's the views. Uh, so just, we'll go back briefly onto the parts, where it says parts checking. So we, we click on the images and we submit. That sends it into parts check. Then we click on launch and it's just going to bring up another screen where we just log in and do our stuff with parts check. So it's a very simple Transition the same as Crestone one, so that that's your parts piece. A little feature for us older blokes, us dinosaurs. Um, when AutoQuote first came out, we had uh, all the initials that we could use, and the F5 and X, F6 and data. So things like the left front guard liner was an LFGL. If you can remember those codes, you can still use them here. So for example, if I was to type in L, F, G, L, which should be left front guard liner. Instead of hitting enter, I just hit tab. And there she be. So, um, E, S, T. Oops. E, S, T. Engine splash tray. Done. So, for those that are familiar with that and like that function, uh, if you can rattle them off, then it'll, it'll load them in. So, um, booth allowance. Oops. Booth allowance. Done. So they're all there, but they all are also here, obviously. So it's just about what's, yeah, which way you like quoting, I suppose, but at least the, the, the function is there. If you don't want that line in there, you simply come across and gone. So yeah, it's an easy enough one. And again, that little red thing, it doesn't really, it's still saved, whether you, we can move to there and then go back and it's still all there, it's still saved. That's just there, mainly for the programmers. Don't be surprised if that disappears one day. Um, in the settings, we've got all manner of form. So a couple of things that are probably important is the integration, which is to do, 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 do payments. And you can pick out uh, yeah, for the premium for all these ticks are what you get. You can't select which ones you want. You get the lot and you can simply click in there and pay your one year annual subscription of 365. Um, you can also grab as many SMSs as you want, and, and these are sort of outside sources. We just facilitate it for you. Uh, so text messages and the Rego lookup. So that's uh, how that happens. You just click in there, and if you click on one year, it'll and, and pay now. So moving on, uh, that's where you can pay for things. So we go back to the settings section up here. Oops. Go back to the management, accounting, 
which again, we pretty much got that. The company, the stuff that was in the settings before and the rates, they're all the same. So you can change things as you need to or adjust. The, uh, the grayed out field for the ABN, that's just yeah, welcome to corporate and government compliance. Uh, the rates, again, you can chop and change your rates and have them set. You know, really, they need to be they, they need to be at least at 100. Repairs should be at least 125. Paint should be at least 150 if you're using the funny money stuff. Uh, and then you can just update every quote from here on or start those as generic. But then you can obviously change them over. Uh, rates, currencies and taxes, well, that's not really us. Choice list uh, contacts, so you can add people to it. SMSs, templates uh, for letterheads. Uh, the payments we've been through, activities. There, there is a calendar of sorts, but I'm not going to touch on that yet. Uh, they've got tracking and reporting, which again, probably not overly important. The accounting bits are all there, and then the integration. So when you go to get set up, you can um, get, use that piece. So it's all there. It's just in a you know, slightly different layout um, to what we were, we, what we used to have. So uh, what else is settings? Now that's about all for settings. I think that video is enough for now. So um, hopefully you get something out of it.